All right, so here's what I mean by using Screaming Frog to fix page title issues. So uh, once you scan your site, you go to the Page Titles tab, and this little filter drop down. You're gonna go through each one of these and try to fix whichever ones show up, if possible. Not all of them are possible to fix, but you try to minimize them as much as possible. So the first one you start off with is, is there any page missing the page title? That should be blank, 99% of the time, hopefully. Um, if not, uh, you'll want to make sure you go to the page that's listed and add a page title. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll show you where page titles are in a second on WordPress. Duplicate page title. Now this one is an issue if it's an important page. This account page and lost password page I'm not too concerned about. They're auto-generated by WooCommerce. Uh, not necessarily going to cause a big problem with uh, our SEO. Also because I think they're not indexed, but we'll come back to that. Over 65 characters. Now this is one you could do some work on. So these 12 links have titles, page title that is 72, you know, over over 65 characters. You want to try to get it down to 65 characters. So how do you do that? Take that first link, switch over to the site, we'll go to that page. Now that we're on the page here, we can look at it. We can see the title here, edit product. Scroll down to the Yoast area. Now you can click right in here and hit Edit Snippet. Now these are important pieces of uh, the, the page title. So the title pulls from this up here, which we're fine that this is this long, so we don't necessarily want to change the actual title here. We'll come back to that. Page is a, is a separate or is a uh, pagination thing that's good to have. So leave that in there. Separator is the little dot. That's that teeny tiny little thing that's set in the settings over here in SEO and then workshop way is the title of the site. So you can come in here, you can click right there, and we're just gonna erase title, and I'm gonna paste in, oh, I thought I copied it. I'm gonna paste in the actual title. Now we know that's still too long because that is the exact same thing that it was before. So instead now I'm going to take it down to, maybe I'll take these out. Now you can see this turned green. Um, I should have less than 65 characters now. So if I save that, and we were to rerun this, that one would come off the page now. And then you repeat it for each one. So you try to shorten, you can see each one of these before Workshop Way starts. This one goes way out to here. So we can cut that down. Still leave the important words in, but cut it down to just the priority words that are important um, on each one of these. Same in the reverse for the below 30 characters. So start with this one, this is a perfect one, the home page. So home is not a very descriptive page title. <clears throat> Instead, we could read this a little bit and say, a system of human growth for education. Okay, it is an approach to learning with equal opportunities all students learn their own thing and manage their lives. Okay, as soon as we'll clap. Okay, I got some ideas. So now I know what this is about. We can go down here. Actually, I'm gonna just steal some of the text right here. Let's take that whole thing. It's a little more descriptive than just the word home but generic enough that it'll, <clears throat> it'll go on this page. So Workshop Way is a system of human growth for education. We're gonna make this look like a title because, we're gonna go title case because it is a title. Um, and yeah, Workshop Way is a system of human growth. Looks good. Update. So now if we refreshed, that would have longer than 30 characters. Life would be good. You go through each one of these and try to lengthen them out. Some of these auto-generated ones like my account, again, um, Blog's good, that could be fixed, or cart. Don't worry about those. Um, but the rest of them, you try to, try to extend them a little bit, be a little more descriptive. Not too long, not too wordy. That's for the description later. Page title should be concise, but should have enough words to have meaning. The over 568 pixels, so this is another metric they use. If you click down here, search snippet, you can see, when you click on one of these, they actually measure the length of this based on characters as an approximation, but characters are different widths, you know, an I is, and an L is skinnier than an A, and a P is fatter than the K, so they use another measurement of pixels, so the number of pixels across, so these actually exceed the pixel limit. So after you do the over 65, rerun it, because a lot of these might get cleared off, and then if there's any more lingering, you can shorten them up maybe a little bit more uh, from this list. Same goes in the reverse on the below 200 pixels. This is an important one, same as H1. If there's ever anything here, that means on your page, you have 
the page title, this thing up here in the description, if you hover you can see it, page title, matches an H1 exactly. And it's not the end of the world if that happens, but it is an item of concern because it could be different. It should be different. It should be more descriptive or different description um, in the first H1. There should only ever be one H1 on the page. That's for a different video, a different time, but the H1 should not identically match this. So either change the page title or change the H1, whichever one makes sense. And if you don't know how to do that, or double check that, it's right here in the text here, H1. You can see it's wrapped in H1. It's the only one that should be. The last one is multiple. So this would be a highly rare thing that would happen, but sometimes it does. Um, there would be something that shows up there. This is more of a code issue than a WordPress issue. Somebody would need to fix this for you, but in the code, it would have this title listed out twice. That's an issue. A programmer would probably have to fix that for you.